Guten Tag! Today we're going to open the Salbergese Italian card deck. Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to Playing Games. And today we're going to unbox some playing cards. This video is a continuing look at the Italian regional card decks. Over the course of 16 short videos, I will be opening all of the Italian regional packs. And we'll go over what makes these unique masterpieces tick. Let's go! Today we're going to open the Salbergese Italian card deck. Okay, so we have to talk about the red-haired stepchild of the Italian regional card decks. The one odd deck in the bunch, the German deck. So here it is, this deck is like a fever dream. Notice the suits are completely different from all the other Italian decks. We have bells, hearts, acorns, and leaves. The face cards also have what looks like two jacks per suit and one seated king. Also, the deck is missing ace cards, as well as low pip cards. These oddities are endemic to the German style of playing cards, which is the origin of this deck. Salbergese means comes from Salzburg, which, last time I checked, is not an Italian city. Yeah, no, it's not. It's in Austria, near the German border. So why is this Austrian deck included in the Italian regional playing card pantheon? Well, it's complicated, and honestly, I'm all for its inclusion. I absolutely love the Tyrol region. It's home to two things I'm obsessed with, skiing and Krampus. Oh, you haven't heard of Krampus? Well, check these videos out. They're part of my Krampus-themed concept album, of which five songs have been released, and hopefully by this coming holiday season, we'll have five more for you. Check it out, it's great. It's on Spotify and Apple Music. No joke, I really made a Krampus-themed concept album, and it's fantastic. I hope you enjoy it too. Let's get back to the Tyrol region. That includes a chunk of Austria and it runs south through the Italian Dolomites. After World War I, Italy took the lower third of Tyrol, forming the South Tyrol and Trentino province. Since then, this region has been mainly self-governed. German and local dialects are spoken more frequently than Italian. So, left to their own devices, South Tyrol play with cards that honor their Austrian-German traditions. The German style cards have 32 cards, and this deck adds more cards to bring the deck up to the 40 cards needed for Italian games. It's a perfect union of the two sides of Tyrol, the Austrian and the Italian. If you want to use this deck to play German-Austrian games, all you need to do is remove 8 cards and you're good to go. I really like these different suits here. They're known as the Four Seasons. It's hard to tell at first because the cards are so busy, but you'll notice a few things that are a little bit odd. First and foremost, there's no ace. The deck begins with a two card, and that's considered the ace in some games. You'll notice that the artwork is great on those cards, too. Let's jump to the face cards. There is neither a queen nor a horse card like the Italian Spanish suited decks. We can see that these four must be the kings, but the other eight cards seem to all be jacks. So what's the difference? If you look closely, you'll notice that the suits are in different positions for each one. Sometimes they're on the lower third, and other times they're on the upper third. That's because there are two kinds of jacks. There's the underjack and the overjack. The underjack plays as a jack and the overjack plays as a queen or a horse in Italian games. If you lay out the cards in order, you'll notice that there's a comic style story. It's often a morality tale, and more than often it's the story of William Tell or Wilhelm Tell. Tell is famous for two things, leading the Swiss against the Austrian domination and shooting an apple off the top of his son's head. The supposed story on the cards comes from a play about Wilhelm Tell written by Friedrich Schiller in 1804. Like most Italian cards, they have a cupid on one of their low cards, and in this case it's the two of hearts. If you look closely, the cupid's eyes are closed, and there's an arrow under his sash. Perhaps he's meant to be the son of William Tell. Traditional cards in which German suits are used include an excuse my German please, Binokel, Doppelkopf, Geigel, Schafkopf, Gat. Rock and Latin. I need some education on these games, but I hope to add them to my repertoire and teach them on this channel. Feel free to reach out if you know some of these games. Information is scarce when it comes to regional decks, so if you're from the Italian Tyrol, or you know a lot about this deck, or how to play any of these 40 card Tyrolean games, please share what you know in the comments, and I'll do my best to keep that knowledge alive. This is just one of Italy's many regional decks, and you can see all the others right here on Playing Games. Please comment, like, and subscribe to help this channel grow. Also help support the hard work that goes into these videos by digitally donating to the channel. You are great.